Caribbean Connections TV. What do you think heaven is like? I think heaven would be just like how church is right now. You're very joyful, rejoicing, everybody's going to be happy, no worries, no problems. I think it would be a peaceful place. It, to me, heaven is, is on the earth, but things are going to change when God comes, and everything's going to be different. The things that we used to do, it won't be the same, and it's just be a joyful, joyful time. Like, you know, it'll be different in everybody's sight. What do you think heaven's like? Heaven? Yeah. I, oh, that's a really tough question. I think it's different for every person. Right. Um, for me, I, I don't know. It's just peaceful. It's great. It's a big party. You don't have anything to worry about. Cool. There's a heaven? Something very nice. Okay. Something beautiful, yeah. You looking forward to going there? <laughs> Soon, yeah. I don't know when. Nobody knows. I guess heaven is, to me, it's a really ambiguous place. Um, more of a, like a color or a state than an actual physical, describable location. Something that's Yeah, do you think everybody will be able to go to heaven or do you think some people select it? I'm pretty open-minded. <laughs> I'm not sure. Oh, heaven is a beautiful place. Heaven's like. Yeah. <laughs> am I allowed to say on whatever channel this is being broadcast that I'm an atheist? Yeah, you're allowed to say that. So you I, don't believe there's a heaven? I do not believe so, no. So what happens to us when we die? I don't know. Nothing, you think? I have no idea. I, uh, I, I honestly have no idea. I, I can't. You don't think we that. blend back into the earth, we turn into some kind of wild animal or... We don't, nothing? You never thought about it? If Oh, I've thought about it yeah. all the time, but um, I, I can't formulate an opinion, really. There's things that I would obviously like yeah. to happen, and like, oh, that would be a nice idea, but um, I don't know anything for sure, and I can't really believe something that, uh, that I can't fully believe in, if that makes sense. As, as far as heaven, uh, I, I, don't, I can't say that I believe or disbelieve. Believing is kind of a matter of faith. And faith is completely, you know, believing with no proof. So it's a really hard thing for me. I got a very analytical mind. I was raised, you know, in lots of churches. Both my, my grandfathers are, uh, are ministers. And there came a point in my teen years that I just started to question. And I just never stopped questioning. And I find that I don't even know if there are answers. That's the problem. Do you think it's um, connected to God? You'll have to be connected to God to get to heaven? I guess, I guess in, I guess in theory, I guess the entity. I'm, like I said, I, I don't believe in anything that's really specific. I'm pretty open-minded about what's going on. I don't really have any predictions. Okay. Well. So when we get to heaven, we don't have to worry about anything. No more aches, no more pain, no worry. Just meet our loved ones that has passed on, and there's a golden crown for me in heaven. Wonderful. My father is a millionaire, and I'm walking on gold. Wonderful. I'll see you there. Thank you. Name? Dimples. Say what? <laughs> Dimples. Oh, let me do this again. Your name is what? Dimples. Dimples? Yes. That's a nice name. Thank you. And I thought I had a word name. My name is Paradise. Paradise. Yeah. <laughs> Hollywood. I'm joking. Yeah. Paradise and Dimples here. <laughs> okay. What do you think heaven's like? What? What is it? Heaven. What do you think heaven's like? Hopefully a nice place where there's less stress and... It's nice. I don't know. Do you think you have a door pass? <laughs> uh, I, I'm still young, so um, yeah. Yeah. You, think so? yeah. you get a uh, free free pass if you're still young, right? Uh yeah. <laughs> I think heaven's like. Well, I know it's a place of um, love, peace, harmony, and unity. But I, I, I know it's just, it's a it's a good place. And we all go there if we do the right things and if we, if we, we love God and, and, and keep his promises. Do you believe there is a heaven? I know there's a God after me. Yeah? Because I clear the pathway. So what do you think heaven's like? After me? Yeah. Bleak. Bleak? That's what you think heaven's like? Bleak. Um, I'm not too sure. Never thought about it. Never really thought about it too much. You think there's a there's a heaven? I like to believe there's a heaven. Yeah. So you believe in God? Yeah. Okay. So you never thought like maybe it's popcorn and cotton candy or nothing no. like that? Oh <laughs> no. What do I think heaven's yeah, like? You never thought about it? Well, I always think heaven and hell is right here. Oh okay. 
Uh, I said that when you do good, good things follow you. Mm -hmm. When you do, when you don't do not live a good life, you pay for it right right here before you die. Okay. Because I work in a hospital right. in San Fernando, okay. in Trinidad, San Fernando okay. General Hospital, and I always think people when they are very ill and they are suffering, that means when you counsel them, yeah. they have done wrong things in their life. Oh, I, see. So I think it's better than we can expect. Can you describe it a little bit more? What in your mind, what you think it looks like? I think it's uh, just some place where um, everybody you've ever loved is there. Every good experience you've ever had is there, and uh, none of the bad stuff. You think there's a lot of singing and dancing and stuff? If you enjoy that, yes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so when you have a good heart and a good mind, you look good, yes. and you does not get ill because of how you think. You understand? Because I'll be 60 December, and I'm nursing 41 years now, and I have to say thank God for the health and strength. Yeah, you don't look it. But that's it. Uh, thank you. So it's a good heart and a good mind, and you always give freely, and you be friendly to everyone and help help them as much as you can. Something we can't imagine. It's indescribable. It's unthinkable. It's better than here. Her boss has been here. Um, I would assume it's something that we just wouldn't be able to comprehend. Whether it's better or not, we don't know. We don't know if it even exists to begin with. So how can we claim something's better when we don't even know if its existence even exists? It's nice to think that there's something other than Oh, definitely. It's nice to know that there could be something after this. Oh, gosh. I, I guess it would be... Uh, where it, uh, everybody's happy with everyone else and everybody loves everybody else and, and we don't have to worry about anything. Oh, that's nice. Description of heaven in the Bible, it's a, it's, it's a street paved with gold, no more toiling, no more weeping, no more sorrow. God promised to his children that he's going to take care of us when we enter into that paradise. And I am working towards that, and I, I, I know that there is a crown laid up in glory for me that I'm going to claim one day. I think heaven and hell is right here. When you die, where do you go? <laughs> where do I Tricky go? question. Huh? It's the right here. <laughs> no, seriously. That could, you, you're serious because you think we're still here. Because we say heaven and hell is here, but nobody knows where heaven and hell is here. So here's heaven and here's hell. Yeah. Because we don't know where we're going to meet in the next life. And we've seen everything was happening here. We only hear from other people who they, they, they predict certain things happen. But we don't know. So we say after them because the elders tell me, hey, heaven and hell is right here. Heaven's like? What, what do I think heaven's like? Yeah. Well, heaven's beautiful, but a, a couple other tips I could give. You don't know where hell is? No. Well, according to your wife, hell's here too. How can people get to that, to heaven? Well, I, I think every, every one of us can get to heaven once we make a decision to serve God and surrender our entire life to Him because there is no other way. You cannot um, want to enter heaven and not surrender totally to God. It's all about surrendering your entire life, everything, and just leaving it up to God. I don't think heaven is a place as much as it is a state of mind, and I think it's something you can achieve in your everyday life. Okay, cool. So you think you'll get there? Uh, I think that I'm probably going to be uh, taking over for Satan when I'm done on this plane, uh, so not too worried about heaven. <laughs> so you think Satan will be a good boss? Uh, no, I think Satan will go on a very long vacation and just hand me the keys and tell me to lock up when I'm done. <laughs> Thank you so much for your answer. How about you, ma'am? You don't think you can top that, huh? <laughs> He's going to work for Satan. <laughs> oh, you know? <laughs> what, yeah. what do you think heaven's like? Heaven, I, I'm in it right now. It's <laughs> fabulous. It's paradise. Come on. I'm not going anywhere. I'm staying right here. I hope we're here all afternoon. Ask me what you want to know. Anything else? I'm out of questions now. Oh, no. I got a couple for you. But to do whatever he chooses to do in your life. I think heaven is like paradise. I think in heaven we all will be equal people. I think in heaven there will be only one head, which is God the Father. Because the word of God says that Jesus Christ and myself... We are joint heirs to the throne of God. So because of this, I believe that heaven is paradise. It's a beautiful place. No more sorrow, no more pain, no more wanting of anything, no more economic breakdown, no more going to work long hours and overtime. Heaven is a place of rest. Wow, wonderful. Thank you so much.